This is the Super Telephoto Fujifilm XF 150 to 600mm f5.6 to f8 RLM OIS WR lens. And this might be one of the nicest telephoto lenses that we've used for Fujifilm. We recently got a chance to try this out in a few different settings to see what it can do. And before we get into all the info about the lens itself, the main takeaway was just how nice this lens was to use. Whether I was shooting landscape, wildlife, or fast cars, Above all else, it was such a nice lens to actually shoot with, and it doesn't hurt that the image quality is top-notch as well. Okay, so let's get into the lens a little bit. This is giving you a full frame equivalent of 229 to 914 millimeters, so a pretty huge focal range to play with. That lets you get in close to your subject, whether you're shooting wildlife, sports, cars, or really anything else. There is so much versatility here, and that's a fantastic option for a lot of things. It's even compatible with the 1.4x and the 2x teleconverters if you want to get some really crazy reach out of this lens. Now, you'd be forgiven for thinking that with a focal range like that, this must be a pretty huge and heavy lens, but actually, it's surprisingly lightweight. That's part of what makes this such a nice lens to shoot with. It's super easy to use handheld, and while walking around Goodwood Festival of Speed, it never became too heavy or a pain to carry, even while I was walking around all day. It actually freed me up because I didn't feel as though I needed my tripod. It's also an internal zoom, so it never gets any bigger. Now, image quality-wise, it's just as lovely. There's 24 elements in 17 groups, and you can capture some really beautiful images with this lens. The colors and the contrast are great, and it's nice and sharp right across the frame. The bokeh looks fantastic as well, nice and smooth, and it's not distracting at all. I was just all around very, very happy with the images. But of course, the autofocus needs to be up to the job on a lens like this. And I'm glad to say, again, I had a really good time using the autofocus. Now this is a linear motor-driven autofocus system, and it was super fast, super reliable, and really made the whole process very, very easy. So again, whether I was shooting the wildlife or the cars, it was lightning quick, there was no hunting, and whether I was capturing something at high speed or trying a panning shot, there were no problems at all. We're also seeing five stops of image stabilization in the lens, which made shooting handheld a lot easier, especially for shooting things like video or panning shots. And actually everything I shot with this lens was handheld. And again, it freed me up to move around a lot more without having to think about a tripod. So what about the lens itself? Well, like I mentioned before, it's a lot lighter than you'd think. It's 1.6 kilograms, and it feels like it has a nice design to it as well. There's an aperture ring on the lens, which is always nice, and then switches for focus distance, aperture ring control, AFL and AF controls, and then a few custom function buttons around the lens for easy customization. It's also worth noting that it's a weather-resistant design as well, something I was able to test out a little bit in the rain. Now, ultimately, this really does feel like the, probably the best telephoto option I've ever used for Fujifilm. And no matter what you're shooting, it's going to give you some really beautiful results. And just as important, it's a nice experience shooting with this lens. I actually don't have any negatives to say about this lens, and I would absolutely want to add this to my Fujifilm kit bag. Now, if you want to check this lens out for yourself, you can follow the link in the description for the price and all the technical spec. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content all the time. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, as always, thanks for watching.